So moving on to our next topic on mobile automation with APM, we are now going to look at how we can create and run our first iOS test using APM. Now we have already looked at the complete iOS setup for APM, but uh, just to make sure that the iOS setup is working correctly for APM, we can again use the APM doctor tool uh, to check the iOS setup uh, is working correctly or not, okay? So for that, uh, we will run this command apm doctor and then we'll type iOS. So this should actually uh, check all uh, your plugins uh, and your uh, settings, everything for your iOS setup for APM. And uh, the important things are the APM home, which is already said, the Node.js, uh, the Node version, then uh, the Xcode, whether it is installed correctly, uh, and the Xcode command line tools, okay? So if all of this is set up correctly, then uh, you will not get any warnings and then you can uh, move ahead with your iOS uh, testing. Now, if something is missing, then uh, you know we can fix it either manually or the tool itself can fix it. Then there are a couple of uh, other plugins which can be installed and uh, all the information is also available right here. So if you look at it, uh, we have already installed iOS deploy and that's why it can already find that iOS deploy, uh, which is installed uh, in our system. So that's all about uh, the iOS setup, validating the iOS setup. And next, uh, we need to now uh, look at uh, the APM inspector and then inspect some element on which we can perform some automation or test, right? So let's open APM inspector. And from here, uh, we'll be starting a session for our iOS application. So I already have a capability set saved for the iOS app and uh, we can directly go ahead and launch it, okay? So these are uh, the capabilities which we need to add. Again, uh, the APM app. Uh, so this is the app location. Um, so where you will get this location from, right? So when you open uh, the iOS app uh, in your Xcode, you will find the full path. And uh, I have used the same path right here. So here you can see uh, we have gone to UI Kit Catalog, which is our iOS app, and then the products UI Kit Catalog, which is the app. So here is the full path, right? So I can copy this from here and then I can use it in my capability. So that's what I have done here. So that's the APM app. And then we have got the APM automation name. Uh, for iOS, it is XCOI test, okay? And for platform name, uh, it is iOS. Uh, and then we have also got a APM device name, iPhone 15 Pro, because that's what we were using previously. Uh, now this device name is not uh, compulsory, but the other three are mostly compulsory. Otherwise you will not be able to start the app, okay? Uh, if you don't provide the last capability, then it will start uh, with any uh, available uh, device which is available in your simulators, okay? So with this, uh, now I can start a session uh, for my iOS application. So let's go ahead and do that. And in the background, you will see uh, it will launch the simulator for that particular device. For us, uh, it is iPhone 15 Pro. And then uh, it will also start the application which uh, we have defined in our capabilities, okay? So you can see uh, the UI kit catalog uh, is being uh, installed on this particular uh, iOS device simulator, and then uh, it will open that particular app, right? So we have got the app now, um, and now uh, we can go ahead and uh, select some elements here. Okay, so let's uh, select a one uh, particular uh, button or any element from this particular application on which we'll perform the automation on. So let's select the buttons element. And here you will find that uh, it has got the accessibility ID selector uh, and we have got some other selectors as well, but uh, we will use the accessibility ID since it's mostly unique, right? So I will copy this. So now let's move back to our IntelliJ IDEA project where we have created our first Android test. I've already renamed it to Android test. 
And then here we will add another Java class, of, which is for our iOS test, okay? So I'm going to call this iOS test. And most of the construct will still remain the same. Uh, the capabilities will change. Um, and obviously the element would change uh, on which you want to perform, but the annotations um, and the other structure will still remain the same, right? So what we'll do, uh, we'll copy this uh, structure from this particular class and we will put it in iOS test and then we'll make the changes required for our iOS application, okay? So the Android driver would remain same, the server URL will remain same, uh, the capabilities will change. So platform name uh, will become iOS and the automation name would become XCUI test. And then uh, we need to put uh, the application for uh, the iOS, right? So what we'll do is uh, we can either use the complete path as we have done uh, in the inspector, but uh, it's much better if we have the apps uh, directly in our project so that it can be accessed uh, separately, right? So for that, uh, what we can do, we can go back to Xcode, okay? And go to your app, UI Kit Catalog, select it. Then you will get the full path right here. And then there is a small button here to which you can go to that particular folder, right? So this is the actual application. Now uh, we can copy this um, and then we can put it in desktop, okay? And then um, I can just copy this and put it into my project. So I will paste it right here. And this is the UI kit catalog dot app, right? So now what we can do is instead of this APK file, uh, we can put the UI kit catalog dot app. So this is uh, the APM app path. And then uh, we need to just add another capability, uh, which is, if we look back our inspector, okay? So I will close this session for now. And this is our capability, which is the device name, okay? So we'll use the iPhone 15 Pro. So we'll put it right here. And then after this, uh, we will put, iPhone 15 Pro. Okay, so these are the capabilities uh, which we require for our iOS application. And then uh, we will find the accessibility ID, okay, uh, for that particular element, which was buttons, if you remember. And then uh, we want to perform a click operation on it, okay? Now, before we go ahead and run this test, we still need to make another change in this particular test, which is quite important. Now, uh, when you are working with Android and iOS, you need to use different uh, drivers, right? And these drivers um, are also different uh, in your Java client library, uh, which is for APM. Now, in our Android test, we were using the Android driver, but if we want to um, use the specific capabilities of the iOS, then we need to switch it to the iOS driver, right? So uh, we need to change this uh, instance of uh, the driver and we need to use the iOS driver now. So as you can see, this is the iOS driver class. So we will change the Android driver to iOS driver and it will create an instance of this particular class, okay? And then uh, accordingly, we will also change uh, here when we are trying to instantiate it by passing the URL um, and the capabilities. So we'll pass it to the instance of the iOS driver, okay? So these two changes um, are also very necessary and important when you are changing from Android to iOS, okay? So now um, our test is ready to be executed. So let's go ahead and execute it. Uh, I've already started the APM server in the background, okay? So we will have a look at this when we are trying to execute it. So we'll come here and we will run our test now. And we'll also have a look at the APM server in the background. And now you will see that uh, it is starting up the iOS device, uh, which we have defined. It will also start the application 
Um, so it will install the application on this device and then uh, it will perform the operation which we have defined in our test. Okay, so here you can see the UI kit catalog application has now opened and then uh, it will click on the buttons element. So that's the operation which uh, we performed and then it will close the driver, right? So you can see uh, the same activities here in the logs as well. And if we go back to our test uh, in IntelliJ IDEA, then uh, it is showing as passed, okay? So this is how uh, you can set up your iOS test in your uh, IntelliJ IDEA, and then you can uh, automate your iOS applications in a particular iOS device, uh, which could be a simulator or it could be a real device. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.